I look at these magnetic structures called flux transfer events or FTEs and um, these are part of the, the process by which the sun's, uh, uh, the sun and the solar wind pass energy into the uh, region of space called the magnetosphere which is the protective bubble uh, around the earth that protects us from uh, the harsher uh, elements of space and uh, these structures are made of structures of magnetic field um, we see them uh, using spacecraft instruments and we sometimes see their effects on the ground too in the ionosphere uh, we <coughs> um, look at the magnetic field as you can see quite a distinctive signature in the magnetic field we also see um, we also look at uh, plasma so ions and electrons um, because we can see what uh, the the region of space what what the electrons and ions are doing uh, in general and then as you see one of these FTEs move past this uh, brings with it a region of heated plasma as well so we see uh, the, 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 the electrons and ions at, at higher energies as it passes through uh, and that can also give us other information about what's going on. But one of the things you can do if you have several spacecraft is you can try to see how big these features are because if they're um, small then they might not contribute much to the overall uh, interaction between the solar wind and the earth. If they're large, it may be the, large, the, the, the bulk, the, the, the biggest part of, of the interaction. Um, and there are people who did think different things, and so with Cluster, we're trying to look at how big these features are, and then how much an individual FTE contributes to the overall uh, interaction. There are different shapes an FTE might take, and people have suggested different, uh, different ideas for what form they take, and that affects how uh, much the FTE contributes to the interaction between the solar wind and the Earth. Um, we know that in one direction, um, but going from the Earth towards the Sun, they might be uh, kind of one or two times the size of the Earth. Uh, we know that in the direction they move, again, they might be uh, a few times the size of the Earth. But what we want to know is whether it's a similar size uh, in the up other direction, kind of going east-west, or whether they're much longer. Um, if you look at some of the uh, observations that you make uh, in the ionosphere, that might suggest that uh, they're very long features, in which case they're contributing a lot to the interaction. Um, on the other hand, it may be that the features you see out in space are a very small part of that picture and you're seeing a smeared effect in the ionosphere. So we've seen some events, some cases now with cluster where we know that they're actually very small and patchy, um, about the size of, of the Earth, so this is small in space terms, um, maybe even smaller, uh, but we have some features that, that, are, that are larger, and um, we're still now looking at even larger separations with Cluster and also the Themis spacecraft um, to see if we can uh, kind of put a, an upper limit on how big these things are.